But as some of you know, I usually start, start, like to start my show with uh, an exercise. So I'll get you all to stand. And I'm going to allow you to sit down, as I mentioned various diseases, if you personally have had experience with this or someone in your immediate family. That's your mother, father, brother, sisters, grandparents. Start at the top with, with migraine headaches. Do we have migraine sufferers here? Or their parents? Or it's similar all across Canada and the world. There's lots of diseases. And your physicians are trained to recognize diseases. But you know what? I found out something in the past 10 years that I don't know what causes any of the diseases that I see. The ones that I mentioned, I don't know what causes any of them, but I'm trained to recognize them and trained to understand the symptoms so that I can give a pharmaceutical product that a person can take for months or even a lifetime. And some people say to me, when I, when I give them a medication that's got some chronic disease, said, how long will I take this? And I love the term, the rest of your natural life. Um, and I was brought up in a disease environment as a physician. I learned all about diseases. And I say, I don't know any disease. The only one, about, about five times per month, I get to feel really good because someone will ask me, what causes yeast infections? And I'll say, well, it's yeast. <laughs> <laughs> and then I feel so smug that I know something. Because occasionally I do know what causes the disease. <laughs> but you know, it'd be about 10 years ago, I got into network marketing and uh, Eight years later, the two years into the, into the company, they brought out a, a whey-based protein that was going to increase the glutathione in our, in our body. And I, I never heard of glutathione in my life. I'll never forget shaking the hand of Dr. Robert Bender, who is a family physician from California and an anti-aging physician. He was about 6'4", remarkably young-looking man, 69 years of age, who uh, water skied all the time and downhill skied. And he shook my hand and almost crushed it. He looked in my eyes and says, John, we are going to make every single cell of every organ healthier and more dynamic, and, 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 and it will be so wonderful for every organ. And as I'm shaking his hand, I said, this guy is nuts. I've got to get out of this cult as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> they sucked me in with some products. Now they've got this stuff that's supposed to make you healthier. There's no possible way. And then he started mentioning to me about he had some patients that were on a transplant list for, for new, new lungs, because they, their lungs had been destroyed. And he said, you know, John, after I got them on the supplement, they came off the transplant list. And that really seemed so far-fetched to me. But I was curious enough to continue to get to know him and then start to read the research. And I heard about this thing called glutathione. I said, this is wonderful. I started to take the product and introduce it to some, some, some patients. And uh, I began to understand the science and understood it was really good for me. And that like vitamin D and, and vitamin C and vitamin B12, it's something I needed internally. But to be quite honest, I didn't feel any different. And neither did any of my patients. But I continued to take it because I, I thought it was good for me. And I didn't really need it because I'm the healthiest guy in the world. I, I plain don't get sick. I, I never am sick at all. Um, but it was about eight years ago, I was across the street at a network marketing meeting. And I started to get some cramps in my belly. And in between the sessions, I'd go out and I'd vomit. And I drove back to Ottawa with my gut out to here and, and, and vomiting uh, every, every hour or so on the way home. And about 2 o'clock in the morning, I decided this physician heal thyself was, was not working. <laughs> <laughs> and I decided to, to see a real physician at a hospital. <laughs> and I went in. And they did a CAT scan and they said, Dr. Kendall, you've got a small bowel obstruction. The first day I said, well, I hate to have a big bowel obstruction because this one's painful enough. But he said, you've also got cancer of your kidney. You've got a six centimeter cancer in your kidney. And I said, well, that's, well, the grin went off my face. Just wiped it right off real quick. The jokes were over. And I said, well, game's over. I'm finished. But they assured me that it was a separate problem, that the cancer was probably located in just the kidney. They were going to remove my kidney. And I was taking the supplements at the time, and uh, I decided to, um, well, I, I went back to work after I had my bowel obstruction. They took it about four inches of my intestine, and, and I went back to work 10 days later, because I'm a healthy guy, and I don't want to waste my time at home when I can be treating the sick and the injured of the, of the province. Um, <laughs> phoned my surgeon and said, take my kidney out, which he did. 
And that was the worst experience of my life because the, oh, the pain was incredible. Um, and you know, the thing that really impressed me about the knowledge of, of supplements was that a week before my, my surgery, I went for my preoperative assessment. And the nurse asked me what medications I took. And I said, well, I don't take any medications, but I take these supplements. He said, well, for God's sake, don't take those. You're having surgery in a week. Don't you understand that, man? <laughs> and of course, I went, went home and quadrupled what I was taking because I, I wanted to be healthier at the time of my surgery. So in February 2007, when some friends came to me and said, John, there's a new company called Max International. They've got a glutathione supplement that's incredible. We're all changing from the new company. And my eyes rolled back, and I said, it can't be. I don't want to do this. I said, glutathione's just like all the other supplements that, that, that are good for us, but nobody feels any different. No, John, they feel different with this. And I said, yeah, sure. I, I, how, could, how could this make you feel better? And um, I was so doubting, but they handed me a CD, which I just looked at the corner of my eye, and I said, Dr. Robert Keller from Hollywood, Florida, board certified in oncology, hematology, and immunology. Folks, you know how big those textbooks are? They're this thick. <laughs> They're small print, and there's no pictures in any of them. <laughs> and and you, gotta, you gotta write exams, and you gotta have an oral exam to get the certification. I said, this guy can't be real. I, I'd never seen anyone with those qualifications. Then, board certified, but ranked in the top 2,000 world scientists, had a clinic in Florida where he treated AIDS, hepatitis C, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and those injured by chemotherapy, all the patients I don't want to see. <laughs> and he created this product over 10 years for his patients. I said, that's unbelievable. I've got to go meet this guy. So I went to Salt Lake City to the very first meeting of, of Max International. And we had a bunch of, probably about 40 people in the room. A couple of doctors, curious, went there. And I remember one, one doctor from Southern United States says, he says, Dr. Keller, he says, uh, my colleague, he took your Max GXL, and, and in 48 hours, he was just buzzing, flying. It was, it was, he says, there's got to be amphetamines in this. <laughs> and Dr. Keller, who was never missed words, says, says, what are the qualifications of that man? <laughs> says, I can successfully debate with the best scientific minds in the entire world. He was a humble man. <laughs> But you know, he's the same man that when people were clapping, he said, you know, folks, because said, oh, Dr. Kelly, you're so wonderful, blah, 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 blah. He says, folks, God gave me this brain, and if I don't use it to help mankind, I have squandered my time on earth. And I'll never forget that quote. And there's some other things about that first meeting that really amazed me. There was probably about... Uh, 400 people there. And he says, how many of you think that this product doesn't work? And about 80 hands went up. He says, of you 80 people, how many for the first time in your life are dreaming regularly? The hands went back up. He said, you people are having what are called REM sleep. For the first time, your body is allowed to get into the proper relaxation where your body can heal at night because you have to heal the cells. And there was a couple of stories about uh, well, Stephen K. Scott, and I didn't know who Stephen K. who was at that time. I'd never heard of the gentleman in my life. But when he started to talk about his, his personal assistant's husband, Kenny Wagner, so which some of you know about, and Kenny's condition, and uh, it was really nice at the first meeting because Stephen was able to tell us exactly what happened to Kenny, his lab reports, and, 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 and what happened exactly to his, to his to his transformation in, in a healthy person. And, and you know, when I heard Stephen two years later say the same story, he said, well, Kenny had this condition, he was this tall, and he took the product and he's this tall now, I can't tell you what it is. And, and we got that we couldn't talk about the personal things that happened because uh, of fear that, that we're treating diseases. And I remember on stage with Dr. Keller, and, and you know, he told what 90% of doctors do not understand. He says, we physicians, treat symptoms with band-aids called pharmaceutical products. We don't treat any of the underlying problem. And I had the opportunity of meeting him personally and said, you know, what's going to happen to me? I have one kidney. My, my kidney functions were not normal with just one kidney. They should be. 
And I said, what will this do for me? This is before I even started taking the product. He says, he says John, this is going to work on every single cell of every organ and make them all healthier and work more efficiently. And uh, is that two minutes? Or if I'd gone up, five minutes. Um, he said, make every single cell healthier. And, and I'd already heard this a couple years before, but I was actually beginning to believe it. And, you know, I remember that, that first meeting, someone said, um, can this be used on animals? <laughs> and in came the cat. <laughs> I said, perfect. Bring the little one up here. I want to show people. Um, and Dr. Kelly said, let me tell you a little bit of story about my dog, Cisco. He says, Cisco is 15 years old, and I have to pick the dog up and take him outside for a pee when he wants to go. He said, but you know, Two or three weeks ago, I decided to give him some of my Kickapoy Joy juice that I'm, that I'm giving to my AIDS patients, Max GXL. He said, I came home from work. The dog wasn't in the house. Went outside, and I said to the neighbors, to the kids, says, where's Cisco, where's Cisco? Well, Cisco's up and down, running up and down the beach. <laughs> and dogs don't understand the placebo effect. <laughs> so this is real. This is real. This is real. This really works. I guess my time's up. The simple thing you have to know, AID. A Listen, in the word aid, that's all you need to know. A for antioxidant, the most powerful antioxidant. I for immune system. D for detoxification, essential. It's no longer a matter of should we take supplements, it's what kind of supplements we should take. And, and certainly this is the product that you need. More glutathione good, less glutathione bad. Who should take this product? To paraphrase Dr. Keller, if you live in a bubble, you don't breathe any oxygen, you eat only organic fruits and vegetables. You get eight hours of sleep every night. You don't smoke. You don't drink. You don't breathe air. <laughs> he said, those people should take, those people don't need to take anything for, to enhance their well-being. But the rest of us need this very, very badly. And uh, I've seen amazing things in my practice. My belief came mostly from my patients, because I remember the very first patient that, that uh, uh, with, a, with a serious lung condition came back after seven days and said, Dr. Kittle, what is this stuff? I said, what do you mean? He said, the energy I have, the breathing that's come on, I breathe so much better. And, and uh, that's when I started to believe it, because I was so healthy, I didn't realize how good it was, because the seventh day I was on it, I flew to Mexico, and I was on the computer till 3.30, arrived at the airport, at 4.30, didn't sleep on the aircraft, checked into the hotel, had my lunch, and saw around the resort till 4 o'clock, then got really, really tired at 4 o'clock, so had a two-hour nap, then stayed up from 8 till 10. The next day, wasn't tired at all. It took me two years to realize that was the beginning of what it does for me and the energy that I get from this product. And uh, um, there's no question that glutathione is the basis of health. Everybody should be on it. Everybody will be on it sometime, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a real um, chore to get people to understand this. I got one little quick story before I go, because I know that you want to get the hook here. Um, <laughs> this, 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 lady, this lady that I introduced to it was a, a laser therapist. She's overweight, chronic fatigue, had, had complaining about life, the pain that she had. She had in a car accident as well. I introduced her to, to, to Max GXL. Took it for two months, and, and she's telling me, God, you know, I'm incredible. I feel so much better. Well, ran out of the product. What happens? She crashes. Phone her up. Says, Dr. Kendall, I have never felt this unwell in my entire life. I feel so horrible. Said, have you had this product independently analyzed to see what kind of addictive substance they're putting into this? <laughs> he says, I can't ever introduce this to anybody because they'll have to take it the rest of their life. Needless to say, the discussion didn't go on very long. I did tell her about the fact that now she has glutathione levels like she had when she was 20. She's in better health than she's ever been in her whole life, and she's got energy because of what this is doing for her. But she thought that our company was sticking something in that to make her addicted to it. And so that she's not a customer anymore. 
Um, but I'll go back to her because I know it's been two years since she's been on it, and I know that she's suffering. And it's, I'm going to go back and give her another shot at this because she needs it, as do all of us and everyone else that we see every day. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs>